He's a smart aleck. He's very quick-witted. But I like that in a man. He gives me chills. I'm digging him. Well, Mr. Delicious is the new spokesperson for Rax. Given we're an adult fast food place, we thought we wanted an adult character and person to be talking to our customers. Mr. Delicious shares the same kind of problems and difficulties we do and casts them in a humorous and enjoyable light. Hello, I'm Mr. Delicious, the new spokesman for Rax Restaurants. My job? To encourage you to enjoy tasty, affordable meals in a more mature dining environment. I know what you're thinking. He's a cartoon. And cartoons are mostly for people who wet their pants. But not Mr. D. He's a special cartoon for adults. And Mr. Delicious always carries this briefcase. Contents? Watch for me and visit Racks. Tickety D. Mr. Delicious is a controversial character. But controversy attracts attention. And for every bad reaction we get from Mr. Delicious, we get hundreds of positive ones. Well, I usually don't like spokesmen, but I like Mr. D. I don't know if everybody understands him, but I think everybody likes him. I like his line about um, he's not just for the, the people that wet their pants anymore. <laughs> I like that part. The one characteristic of Mr. Delicious that will enable him to cut through is that Mr. Delicious speaks honestly to the kinds of problems and issues that we all face. Nobody else out there is doing that. Mr. Delicious is, uh, granted, very different from any uh, spokesperson I've ever seen. But I think he's going to help update our image. And with the support of our employees, I think Mr. Delicious is going to make a real difference to our company. I guess you could say I hired Mr. Delicious. It really started when we were looking for an advertising agency. And I looked at over 50 agencies. And there was one that stood head and shoulders above all the others. And that was Deutsch in New York, a relatively young but very, very creative agency who, in my opinion, is producing the best advertising in the United States today. And through their process, which was a very detailed analytical as well as uh, qualitative process by visiting stores, talking to managers, talking to employees, and spending a lot of time trying to understand the positioning uh, of racks. And out of that positioning came the development through their creative process of Mr. Delicious, who was absolutely going to go down as one of the classic characters in advertising history. Hello there. I'm Mr. Delicious. Did you know the value menu at Racks features lots of adult-sized electables for only 99 cents? That's right, and that's fortunate. You see, Mr. Delicious is, well, a little overextended. Perhaps the Racks executives aren't paying him enough to compromise his integrity. On the other hand, you can't eat integrity, but you certainly can eat a hearty roast beef sandwich for 99 cents. Tickety-D. Um, most of the time I eat at Racks alone, but now it's more like eating with a friend. 85% of the decisions to go to a fast food restaurant are made within five minutes of that visit. So you have to be at the top of people's minds. And getting controversy and getting people talking about, about, about Mr. D is what it's all about. I'm feeling a deep, profound respect for that Mr. Delicious guy. I would wear a jacket like Mr. D's to a formal function shoes. Mr. D's getting all the babes. That's my complaint. I think if I wasn't married already, Mr. Delicious would be my man. It's important that people talk about racks. So when you come home at night and you're uh, having dinner with your family, you say, Honey, you know, I heard the darndest commercial on the radio today. Well, you know, usually I go to the can during the commercials, but now that Mr. D's on, I'll just hold it. <laughs> I usually don't know the fries, but Mr. Delicious made me think I really should have them today. I want to grow just to be like Mr. Delicious. After we were signed to Rack's business, we went out to the stores. We spent days on the road with the marketing folks at Rack's. We talked to the customers. We worked behind the counters. We worked the fry stations. We worked back in the prep. We worked the salad bar. 
After spending days in the stores talking to customers and talking to crew, we went back and developed a strategy that really, out of which grew this Mr. Delicious idea. And the beautiful thing about Mr. Delicious is that he can play up Rack's strengths and make them very leverageable and takes Rack's weaknesses and converts those again into leverageable strengths for that adult consumer. Hello there. I'm Mr. Delicious, the new cartoon spokesman for Rack's restaurants. My job? To encourage you to enjoy tasty, affordable meals in a more mature dining environment. You see, Mr. Delicious doesn't appreciate unnecessary commotion while he's eating. It brings out the dangerous, hostile side in Mr. D. At least that's what his analyst says. Anyway, at Rack's, Mr. Delicious can enjoy a tasty sandwich or salad without bright yellow formica upsetting his stomach. He can rest his feet on carpet, since Rax has confidence that Mr. D won't drop his twisty fries. He can lose himself in a cheap romance novel without his elbows sticking to the table. And Mr. Delicious always leaves Rax with a few bucks left. That's just grand, because his analyst charges a lot to keep Mr. D's hostility all locked up. So if you're looking for a stress-free fast food alternative, visit Rax and tell him Mr. Delicious sent you. Dickity D. Rax, you can eat here. Another beautiful thing about Mr. Delicious is he works in every medium. He works naturally in radio, he works in outdoor, he works in POP, ROP, he works on the cash register tape, he works on your tray liners, he can do it all. I think he's probably Scottish in a former life and that's like his family plaid and he wears it with pride. Mr. Delicious reminds me of my dad. I find Mr. Delicious very attractive. I don't know why he thinks he's big boned. Uh, his name is Mr. Delicious, which is an immediate cue that we're not in the realm of the serious, we're in the realm of the humorous, and um, it immediately sends a signal to the viewer or the listener or the, or the reader that this is something um, that's going to make you laugh. This is going to be a rewarding communication. There's a certain component of his character that is uh, just fed up. He's, he's been through the mill. He's been around the proverbial block. He's made some questionable career choices. Um, Mr. Delicious even tells us about uh, a stint as an aluminum siding salesman. He tells us that he has uh, had some marital problems, that maybe his, his home life has uh, its share of problems, and, and he's got financial woes. He's got all the kinds of problems that, that we relate to as people. Well, hello. Remember me? I'm Mr. Delicious. Did you know the Rack's Value menu features a full array of adult-sized delectables for only 99 cents each? That's right. And Mr. Delicious can really appreciate a bargain like that. After all, he's still trying to recover from that bout with midlife crisis in 89. Fortunately, he was able to sell the Porsche back to the dealer. But much to his chagrin, Mr. Delicious discovered that custom-designed hair weaves are non-refundable. Same for the rotating disco glitter ball he installed in the basement. And that vacation he took to Bora Bora with those two young friends, well, that left Mr. Delicious feeling empty and unfulfilled. Unlike the robust sandwiches, baked potatoes, and refreshing drinks on the Rack's value menu for only 99 cents each. Dickity D. Value menu available at participating restaurants. Racks, you can eat here. You'll notice he speaks in the third person, uh, which is a very deliberate action on his part. He's, he's got a little bit of a sardonic take on life, and that third person, uh, Jack Benny-esque delivery, helps him plant his, his tongue firmly in his cheek. Buongiorno. Mr. Delicious here to talk about the Rack's endless salad bar with new all-you-can-eat pizza and pasta. You know, Mr. Delicious stayed out a little too late last night, and he isn't feeling very well. So it's a good day for carbohydrates. Pizza and pasta will do the trick. Of course, having a wide selection of pizza is helpful on a day when Mr. D is having trouble focusing. He's bound to grab a slice of something tasty. And if you've ever enjoyed two-for-one night at the Rusty Anchor, you know how dehydrated Mr. D must be. Some free Coke refills will hit the spot. Plus, enjoying a long, leisurely dinner at Rack's will help him avoid the wrath of Mrs. Delicious, who isn't very fond of the Rusty Anchor. In any case, next time you feel like Mr. D, try a heaping plate of pizza and pasta from the Rack's Endless Salad Bar for only $3.99. Tickety-D.
pizza and pasta available at participating restaurants. Rex, you can eat here. Mr. Delicious isn't feeling very well because last night he stayed out a little too late. When he says that in the third person, it gives us an extra added dimension of, of sarcasm that, that everyone uh, can relate to and, and get a little bit of a chuckle at. I know about the rusty anchor. I was there last week, and I can empathize with Mr. D. He's real, he's honest, he's funny. He's cool, I could hang with him. Rex is in a turnaround situation. It's not easy being a cartoon spokesman. We can help Mr. D by, you know, by putting up the P.O.P. and getting behind him. The guy needs some help. He's just a little guy. Uh, you know, and I know he's got some controversial side to him, but I think we can have a lot of fun with him. Well, hello, Mr. D again. Our subject, value express combos at the Rack's drive through These tasty delights are priced in low, even dollar amounts. So there's no change. That's just grand, because Mr. Delicious just had some rather delicate surgery. If there's no change, he doesn't have to squirm so much to put it back in his pocket, now does he? He just grabs his combo and drives ever so slowly over the speed bump. Tickety D. It's the first honest advertising that anybody's come out with in a long period of time. Mr. D's an honest guy. He's got a headache, he's going to tell you. You just had an operation that hurts. Mr. Delicious is obnoxious. I can't believe he says that on TV. I think he's rude. Hey, lighten up. Mr. Delicious is only a cartoon. I think it's kind of like a Simpsons for grown-ups. We just flew in from Albany, New York, just to visit Mr. D. Going slow over the speed bumps. Well, I think he's great just because because of his sense of humor. <laughs> if Mrs. Delicious can't appreciate him, I will. Help Mr. Delicious. He'll help you. We believe it. Thank you.